Welcome to Fear No Evil. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. This is the time for Christians in Alabama to really sit by some water and allow the Lord to speak to you. You have a very important decision to make. You have to decide whether you want to put Roy Moore in a seat, although he may have although he has allegations of pedophilia against him. Now I am a sexual abuse survivor. And I'm not going to say that the 14-year-old is telling the truth or she's lying. Because I've only seen one interview with her. And I would not want to accuse a survivor of child sexual abuse of lying if they are not lying. But let me give you some facts. A pedophile who sexually abuses children doesn't stop. And even though they get married, they can still sexually abuse their own children or other children. So are there any allegations currently about Roy Moore that include pedophilia? Because child molesters and pedophiles are unable to stop their behavior. And the reason why they're unable to stop their behavior, number one, the church has failed sexual abuse survivors. Although I've gone to church for most of my life. The church, in many ways, has failed the sexual abuse survivor, and that's why you don't have them going to church. But at the same time, you have the Democrats manipulating the situation so that they can get what you want. So while you're standing in the middle, you have two evils. One evil is the possibility that Roy Moore may have sexually abused children. And the other evil, people pretending that they care, pretending that they're going to lead this movement, pretending that they are progressive, when they know all they're doing is manipulating people and their emotions, which is what sexual abusers do through the grooming process. They manipulate the emotions of their targeted child to get to a certain goal of gratification. And maybe that's why I'm so against the Democrats right now with this, because you are just repeating the patterns of a perpetrator. It's just in a different arena. So you have to make this decision on whether you want to see the man who may be a pedophile. And on the other hand, You have people who are trying to manipulate your emotions, who are trying to say you're not Christians if you vote for Roy Moore, who are trying to say that President Trump is like Hitler. Listen to what is being said about Christians in America. Because what they say are lies, and it's not who we are, and it's not who I am as a sexual abuse survivor. I would never support a pedophile or a child molester, or someone who abuses somebody in the workplace. But I know that for myself as an adult, if anybody tries to sexually abuse me or violate me in any way, you're probably going to get a smack across the face. Because I am empowered enough to recognize abuse, and I'm empowered enough to say something. And in that empowerment, I've also taught my children to say something. And to speak up. Because it's not easy to be that kind of person. Now there's one flaw of the Democrats that I constantly see. And it's a pattern that they have. Whether they be in the public arena. Or just in a general population. You are unable to see your own flaws. You love to put out the flaws of, point out the flaws of other people. But your own flaws? You are totally blind to them. And the women who feel like they're going to lead this movement? No. Because you all didn't say anything when it was happening. So that is the problem that I'm having with these women. They did not say anything when it was happening. And there is a common theme among people who have been abused that they will protect 
the abuser. Now, don't try to tell me that Roy Moore is the only one who could have possibly sexually abused kids. Because Hollywood is full of people who sexually abuse kids. And they are all mostly Democrats. There are a lot of people in society who sexually abuse kids, whether they be Democrat or liberal. But for the liberals to stand on that side and act like nobody on that side sexually abuses children is insane. And it's evil that they want to manipulate other people's emotions so that they can get their person into the seat. So Christians, read your Bibles, take your concerns to the Lord, and vote as the Lord directs you to do. Because we are in very prophetic times right now. And we must always be in the will of God. So don't do what your neighbor tells you to do. Don't do what your pastor tells you to do. Don't do what the left is trying to tell you to do. And dare I say, Jesus is our shepherd. We are to follow Jesus. So do what Jesus tells you to do. And I myself, I would probably vote for Roy Moore if I lived in Alabama, even though I'm a child sexual abuse survivor. Why? Because I'm not convinced that Roy Moore is a child sexual abuse perpetrator. And I'm greatly offended by the liberals trying to manipulate my emotions so that they can get what they want when I feel that what they're trying to do destroys society. And now you have taken the, the topic or the issue of child sexual abuse, put it in the political arena. You don't really care. All you want is a Democrat in that seat. There's a manipulation of my emotions, the misinformation that you give out on the TV, the women that you say are supposed to represent me. I can't think of one liberal woman that really represents me or how I feel or my thoughts on child sexual abuse. I do know that if Roy Moore is a pedophile, we will never really know the truth. But God knows if he is or not. So listen to God. Listen to the Holy Spirit. Because America seems to have this problem of bringing forth false allegations to take down celebrities, politicians, people at work that they don't like. This is a pattern that we have in America. Don't fall for it. Do what you feel you need to do. And if you vote for Roy Moore, don't feel like you're a bad Christian. Don't feel like you're the scum of the earth. And certainly don't buy the lies on the left. Al Franken wasn't sorry. Conyers is 88 years old. Who cares if he steps out of Congress? He's 88 years old. If America or the Congress people or the liberals were really serious about this, they would pass legislation, but they don't. They would allow victims of all sexual abuses to come forward, but they aren't. The only ones they're really talking about are the women on the cover of a magazine. Well, liberals, those women don't represent sexual abuse, rape, and sexual violations in this country. And you will not manipulate my emotions. And you will not have me live your lie. And until the liberals can see their own flaws in themselves and stop speaking with a forked tongue, nobody's going to take you seriously And in fact, you all take yourselves a little too seriously. And you are not the majority. You are the minority. Because most people do not feel the way that you feel. And most of us are awake enough now that you are not going to manipulate our emotions anymore. So Alabama, do what you need to do.